Hi everyone, it's Annalisa and welcome to my channel. Why does separation last so long in the twin flame connection? I want to talk a little bit more about the separation piece and the importance of the separation for the divine feminine and the divine masculine. In this connection, we know that it is one soul that you share with your divine masculine. This is not a soulmate connection where there are two separate souls. In fact, everyone else would be two separate souls. But with this twin flame connection, you are one with your divine masculine. And when you go into separation, which is what happens in this journey, it is all very normal for this to occur. So please don't feel like you are all alone. Although the journey can appear to be very lonely because there's not many people that you can talk to about this journey. So the separation happens because the divine feminine needs to pull their energy back into themselves and begin to understand that this journey is their path to enlightenment. You were already ascended. You are already enlightened. But when we come to this planet on earth, there is amnesia that occurs. So you don't remember that you are already ascended, which is why you go through so much trauma, distress, and pain that the mind perceives. However, your soul is whole and complete. Your soul does not have any core wounds. So the separation time can be very long for some because of the lessons that they still need to learn on this planet and going through all the 3D events and situations and interactions which you have to go through to help you learn that you have all the answers within you. This journey is so beautiful because it is only during the separation time that you are learning everything that you have experienced is happening to help you ascend, to help you go come back to your path to enlightenment, knowing that you are love and everything that has happened in your lifetime. And I know that many divine feminines have gone through an immense amount of trauma and negative experiences. But remember, it is the mind that perceives it as negative. Uh, depending on what you have gone through, the journey is allowing you to come back to yourself, helping you realize that everything that you have gone through has happened to teach you further lessons and to help you come back to your truth. And your truth is that you are love and that this love shall overcome everything that you have gone through and really being able to distinguish between the ego mind and your soul, which is your higher self, which is your twin flame, your divine masculine, really working on the ego during the separation time, whether your separation was a year, two years, 15. I've coached some that have been on this journey for over 25 years, and that is just special and unique to that person and realizing that they have been on this journey for so long. And some actually don't even realize that they have met their twin flames uh, way back many years ago. They only realize they're on the connection much later. And of course, there are some that do realize they've been on it for a longer period. But the separation time is the most important time for you, Divine Feminines, because you have the gift and opportunity to begin releasing the layers of the ego that is holding you captive. And as you do this, you clear your chakras and you begin to connect to your heart center, which has been activated. At that point, when your chakras are cleared and you reach the crown chakra, coming back to the heart chakra, that is where you can meet your divine masculine and they begin to have their awakening. So the separation piece works for both you and your divine masculine, allowing you, divine feminine, to go first, to begin doing the inner work and shifting your energy. That is the inner work, is to shift the energy, to shift out of the lower 
dense energies and come back to higher vibrations, higher frequency, which is where your divine masculine can meet you in a higher frequency. So this is all part of the twin flame journey. So if you've been in a longer separation and really getting frustrated as to why they have not come back, or you may be in a longer separation, but back and forth, and you've been doing this runner chaser type of dynamic for years and years and really getting frustrated as to why they won't stay, why your divine masculine is not coming to 3D union with you. All that means is that you need to reach 3D union within yourself first. Once you reach inner union and at peace without them during the separation, that's when everything shifts. Really surrender and not have any expectations of your divine masculine. And I know that this is not the way it typically is with other relationships because you do have expectations. You have expectations of how you want your soulmate to be and what they should be doing for you and the things that you are doing for them and you've reached some sort of balance. But that is not this connection. This connection does not work that way. The rules are very different in a twin flame connection. So really shifting your energy into inner union, being comfortable and at peace without them and really raising your vibration is going to be so important. So it really doesn't matter how long you've been in separation, although it may seem like a lifetime. In the upper realms, separation is not considered in time. There is no time. Time is simply an illusion. Time is man-made in the 3D planet because we, we're constantly thinking of time as we need to get things done. And I certainly can resonate with that because that is the way things are on this planet. But in the upper realms, in the 5D, it doesn't quite work like that. It is no time. Everything is happening all at once. And there are various multi-dimensions that you can connect with, which is timeless. And this connection is a 5D connection. It is not a 3D connection. So really letting go of the time. And I know that that is hard um, for many, especially if you've gone through many years, again, of this separation, you're feeling drained, you're feeling exhausted. And that is all the 3D mind keeping you in fear, keeping you in the lower energy. So really taking your power back, shifting into inner union, uh, really stepping into soul mission, raising your vibration is going to help you shift on this journey. So continue pushing through, continue really focusing on you completely, 100% on you, Divine Feminines. Come to your highest version where you don't need your Divine Masculines or need anyone else in your life. That is what this journey is asking from you to stand in your own power to stand in your own sovereignty. And I know that you can do this. That is why you became awakened. That is why your divine masculine knew that you were ready to be awakened. It was no coincidence that they came in to activate your soul, your heart center. It is not a coincidence that that happened. So continue to shift your energy. If you need more help, I have a website in the hidden kingdom.com. Feel free to check it out. And I do have a Facebook group, Twin Flames Journey of Self, sending you all so much love.